Not make that's a nice. show in front of your wife and kids and because you are under arrest for your warrant, for your outstanding warrant. Can I see the warrant? We will show you the warrant in the car. A wrongful arrest, an innocent man, the victim of inaccurate facial recognition technology at the hands of the Detroit Police Department. All I did was come home from work and got arrested. Now that victim, Farmington Hills resident Robert Williams, is testifying before the Congressional Subcommittee on Crime, Terrorism, and Homeland Security about the dangers of facial recognition technology. I just don't think it's right that... Um, my picture was used in some type of lineup and I've never been in trouble. The arrest happened in 2020 at his home in front of his wife and two young daughters. He says he spent 30 hours in a filthy detention center accused of stealing watches from the Shinola store before police realized they had the wrong guy. He said, when was the last time he was at the uh, Shinola store? I said a couple years ago. He said, so that's not you? I said, no, that's not me. He turns over another piece of paper. He says, so I guess that's not you either. I held that piece of paper up to my face. I said, I hope you don't think all black people look alike. He turned over another paper, paper and said, so I guess the computer got it wrong. And I'm like, I guess so. Williams, represented by the ACLU, now suing the Detroit Police Department and being held up as a prime example of the problems associated with FRT. Most, if not all, facial recognition systems are less accurate for people of color and women. For the most part, we can be confident that the darker your skin tone, the higher the error rate. The use of facial recognition technology is largely unregulated and raises numerous concerns. The government could use facial recognition technology to monitor or target people exercising their First Amendment rights. The bipartisan subcommittee hearing testimony from a variety of experts raising many concerns about privacy, accuracy, and transparency. Not only are federal law enforcement agencies not assessing the risk of using facial recognition technology, most don't even know which systems their employees are using. The representatives acknowledging successes as well, the use of FRT in identifying the shooter in the Capitol Gazette murders and in identifying victims of sex trafficking by matching missing person photos to online ads. FRT has also been used to identify several of the insurrectionists at the Capitol on January 6th. But both Democrats and Republicans agree meaningful regulation and oversight of this technology is needed. And I think we can find a lot of common ground here. In Southfield, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.